I, you know what? I thought this this was because when I first saw the headline, I was like, okay. But then when I read it, I was like, yo, this is kind of messed up what Disney is trying to do. So they had a couple come to one of their parks. It was Ep- Ep- uh, what's the one that began with an E? Epcot, Epcot, Epcot Center. Epcot Center. And the wife has an allergy. Mm-hmm. And they asked repeatedly if the foods can be made allergen free and multiple people confirmed that it could be. So she ordered a vegan fritter, 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 whatever, fritter. scallops, mm-hmm. onion rings, and a vegan shepherd's pie. Mm. And apparently... It wasn't allergen free because after dinner, she was shopping and began suffering from a severe acute allergic reaction mm-hmm. and died. Jesus. From it. Yeah. Um, Wait till you hit a risk. So, obviously, and this happened in October of uh, 2023. 20, and so, of course, they're responsible. Or the murder, or the the death. Well, Disney is saying that since they signed up for Disney Plus, they agreed to an arbitration clause. What? Crazy. That yeah wouldn't allow them to sue them. What for this? Terms and conditions. <laughs> That's Make sure y'all crazy, read them. bro. That shit was in the small print too, Spike. Yeah, they're trying yeah, to get it sent crazy. to arbitration because that person signed up for Disney Plus. Oh, and man, they're trying they to get the lawsuit. Double time. Man, yeah, man, triple time, bro. Here's the crazy part. He signed up for, well, he signed up for, I don't know if he kept it, but they're saying he signed up for like a one month trial it was a free of trial. the service, Rod, in 2019. That's and it requires crazy, all users to arbitrate disputes all disputes with the company and they're trying to get the lawsuit tossed out include including the theme parks mm-hmm. apparently mm-hmm. so that's i guess that's the argument that they're trying to make that's a separate one they said that that when you get tickets to the theme park that the fine print is in the tickets that you're buying that you can't oh. see they're, wow. they're also yeah yeah it's it's crazy Damn. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's in the ticket. So it's not. It's not connected to the subscription. Is that what you're no, saying? It is. Mike? it is. It is. It is. No. It is. When you sign up for it, yeah. co- they're saying that they're covering all of their bases with this type of shit. But they're. But they're saying that he specifically um, said that he's basically giving away his right to sue if he signed up for this <laughs> this free trial with Disney Plus. No, no, no. I need to understand this. So, because you, you, you messed me up because you said the ticket says covers mm-hmm. it too. So, are, are they using the ticket or are they using the subscription? They're focusing on the subscription part. I don't know what the language is in the subscription part that's different from the ticket part. Because personally, mm-hmm. I only saw the part that, in, that references Disney+. Plus. The part that references the ticket, I just saw this morning. So... Mm. I can't I can't say too much to that part, but I know the part that's in the the Disney Plus part, it's it's if you read it, which none of us have, because we right. just say okay right. and we go. If you right. read it, you would not read it that way. You really wouldn't. Exactly. But it's 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 in the front of the subscription package when you sign up. But we would think that it just means that you can't sue them for like if let's say if one of your kids watches something crazy on disney plus right and it goes out and kills somebody you can't say well it's disney plus's fault right we wouldn't we wouldn't think no one would think that 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 transfers over to the theme parks no one would think that and to be really clear rod i could i could i should have said this in the beginning i only saw that part about the tickets to the theme park i only saw Mm -hmm. that in one place so to mm-hmm. be totally fair, I'm glad you questioned it. It might not be true, and I could have just, yeah. I could have just fallen for somebody putting some shit in there that didn't really research it. But, mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, the, the subscription part is what they're focusing on. 
Yo, that's right. wild, here's, here's, here's something else, and I, I'm, I'm, I've been trying to make sure I'm reading this correctly, but I don't yeah. see any other number. Um, cause they, well, they say in excess, but Piccolo, the the person that's that's suing Disney, mm-hmm. is seeking damages in excess of fifty thousand dollars. That's dollars. Pursuant to Florida's Wrongful Death Act, as well wow. as damages for mental pain and suffering, loss of companionship and protection, loss of income and medical and funeral expenses. So the price could rise. So right. I don't know why they keep citing 50000 but it's 50000 bro. Yeah. <laughs> and they don't want to pay that. Right. That's it probably crazy. costs them 50000 for the, go. <laughs> the attorneys that they're paying. <laughs> right. Their retainer fee a month is probably $50,000. They got that shit somewhere in some fund for incidences like this. So that's why I'm like 50,000. That's that seems that's pretty low. Mm-hmm. That's a pretty low number. So it has to be more than that. But CNN had 50,000 and so mm-hmm. did Yahoo Plus. So I, I mean, Yahoo. So I, I I don't know why that's the only number that they're, they're saying. But yeah, I either way it goes. Too. I couldn't see anything. I couldn't find anything. It, it, everything said over 50,000. That's all it said. It doesn't like give us. Mm, yeah, you know, yeah. It's confusing. Mm. Yeah, it has to be in the millions. Like, there's no way it has to be for a dinner. One of mine. I don't, and, I don't think, yeah. I think. if it was in the millions, I think they would say that. Like, typically, if if you say, "Oh, I made over fifty thousand mm. pay this year," that means you made like fifty two, fifty three, fifty five. It doesn't mean you made a hundred and fifty because nobody right, right. that. So yeah, I think if it was million, because I was surprised by that too. It's like. All you're suing for is like between fifty and sixty k. That's it, and Disney can't just pay that. Yeah, and I'm trying to see if that's a. Yeah, I can't see if that's a cap based on this this oh, law. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Um, but I don't see anything that says that is so far. So I don't know. We we have some smart listeners. I'm sure they'll let us know. Yeah, but man. <laughs> 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 uh but but yeah that that that's insane bro like i you know you see these arbitration things you kind of be like all right you know i, I doubt i'm gonna have to really sue you depending on it's trust especially a, sh- a streaming service right i will so, have to sue you for well streaming mm-hmm. right damn and, yeah i you know if Ep- epcot has a separate agreement that's specific to that. I still even think that's messed up that they would resort to that, but their job is to, of course, represent their client in the best way possible. So if Epcot has an arbitration clause, then of course they're going to push for it. My thing is what choices do we have? Do we not agree to the arbitration if we wanted to go to Epcot Center? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and or can we negotiate that? We're like, nah, can I send this to my lawyer and have him, you know, take this part out or rewrite it? Nope. Power. And the thing is, I asked you though. I asked you several times and you mm-hmm. told me that you did it. Yep. And now when it comes time to, oh, you did something that you weren't supposed to do, you're trying to avoid being sued as well. That's crazy to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so hmm, I don't know. That's yeah, I I couldn't believe that shit. I read a lawyer talking about it, and the lawyer uh said that this isn't really. She doesn't think that this is going to stick. The judge wanted it. No, the 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 lawyer was saying that 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 yeah, like this is this is actually really gross that Disney's even trying it, especially because they have a low likelihood of having this actually work. They're saying that. Law is one thing, there, but the, she was basically putting it like you can't really present the everyday person with something in legalese that is so confusing that they that that the majority of people would not read it in that way. Like the majority mm-hmm. of people are not going to read, oh, I'm signing up for a one month trial for free with Disney Plus, And that means if I die at the park, my family can't. No one's going to read it that way. So mm-hmm. they're saying it's all in legal interpretation. So the lawyer was basically saying that no judge is going to enforce that. No judge is going to say that makes sense that they would read it that way. I wonder, is that forever too? Like if, if my subscription expires, do is it still standing when I go to the park? 
You would think because it was a one month trial that was over. Yeah, right. that's what I'm thinking. Like, damn. Disney is gross. Man. That is disgusting. It really is. Especially if it's really just 50, 60, or even if it's 200K. That's like me loaning B $2. Disney has that kind of money. And, and you would think, in order to keep this out of the news and looking right. as disgusting as it does, they would have just, get, here, here's the 60K. Never mention this again. Right. Sign this agreement where you don't talk about it and sorry about your wife. Yep. But damn. 